These are the commands which Yahweh commanded Moshe for the children of Yisrael in Mount Sinai, Bamidbar, Numbers, chapter 1. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe in the wilderness of Sinai, inside the tent of appointment, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Mithraim, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Yisrael by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, every male by their poles. From twenty years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Yisrael, thou and Ahron shall number them by their hosts, and with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of his father's house. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of Ruben, Elithur, the son of Shedehur, of Shumon, Shalomiel, the son of Thuri Shaddai, of Yehuda, Nashon, the son of Aminadab, of Yishachar, Nathanael, the son of Thorar, of Zavulon, Eliab, the son of Helon, of the children of Yosef, of Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Ammihud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Padatur, of Benjamin, Avidan, the son of Gadaoni, of Dan, Achiezer, the son of Ammi Shaddai, of Asher, Pagael, the son of Akran, of Gad, Eliasaf, the son of Rahuel, of Nephtali, Achire, the son of Ainan. These are they that were called of the congregation, the princes of the tribes of their fathers. They were the heads of the thousands of Yisrael, and Moshe and Ahron took these men that are mentioned by name, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, by their poles. As Yahweh commanded Moshe, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. And the children of Reuben, Yisrael's firstborn, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Shumaon, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, those that were numbered thereof, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Shumaon, were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. Of the children of God, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of God, were forty and five thousand and six hundred and fifty. 
of the children of Yehuda, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Yehuda, were seventy-four thousand and six hundred, of the children of Yishachar, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Yishachar, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Zabulon, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Zabulon, were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Yosef, namely the children of Ephraim, their generations by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Manasseh, were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Of the children of Benyamin, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Benyamin, were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Of the tribe of Dan, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Dan, were sixty and two thousand and seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, their generations, by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. These are they that were numbered, whom Moshe and Ahron numbered, and the princes of Yisrael being twelve men. They were each one for his father's house. So all they that were numbered of the children of Yisrael by their father's houses, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war in Yisrael, even all that were numbered, were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But the Luiyim after the tribe of their fathers were not numbered among them. For Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Only the tribe of Levi thou shalt not number. 
neither shalt thou take the sum of them among the children of Yisrael, but appoint thou the Leviim over the tabernacle of the testimony, and over all the furniture thereof, and over all that belongeth to it. They shall bear the tabernacle, and all the furniture thereof, and they shall serve to it, and shall encamp round about the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle setteth forward, the Leviim shall take it down, and when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Leviim shall set it up. And the stranger that cometh near shall be put to death. And the children of Yisrael shall pitch their tents, a man according to his camp, and a man according to his standard, for their hosts. And the Leviim shall encamp round about the tabernacle of the testimony, that there not be wrath upon the congregation of the children of Yisrael. And the Leviim shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus did the children of Yisrael, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moshe, so did they. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe and to Aharon, saying, The children of Yisrael shall encamp, a man according to his standard, by signs of their father's houses, opposite the tent of appointment, shall they encamp round about.